what a strange and wonderful painting this is. It's, it's quite rare. Presumed to be amongst the Cartwright paintings. Where he got it, we don't know. It's known as the Judd Memorial. That's Judd with an E at the end. And a lot of research has gone into it, and we're pretty sure that we now know who these two people are. This is William Judd and his wife, Joan. And we know their ages, because um, it does say up here. It's hard to read, but it's, he's 46, and his wife, 28. And it was used to be known as the Judd marriage, because it was assumed that the two hands... Uh, with the rings and everything, was some kind of a marriage portrait. But actually, it's a little bit too morbid for that, I think. And what it is, is a great testament to the religiosity of the period. We know the date, because it's there, 1560. And these are two clearly, deeply religious people who are married to each other and who see their lives as people did in those days, in terms of its, their relationship to death, their final end. And there are lots of inscriptions in the painting. Behold our end, and both of them have their hands, not touching, on a skull, classic, memento mori. The word of God hath knit us twain, and death shall us divide again. It says, underneath, live to die, and die to live eternally, it says. At the top, a candle guttering, a candle, a classic symbol of the evanescence of life, easily snuffed out, something that burns briefly and dies. There are other symbols in here. Many irises, William holds an iris, as does Joan, and there are irises in the beautiful little vases of flowers up there as well. We're not sure what that symbol refers to, but clearly this is packed with symbolism. One of the meanings that you can attribute to an iris is that of trust. Well, maybe that's what would be appropriate for a married couple like this, looking literally till death parting them. But there's a funny little thing up here as well, these two little cushiony things, a little sacks of wool. We know that William Judd arranged for the export of wool, amongst other things, and this wool comes from Leinster, in fact, and it has a merchant's uh, sign on it, so we know what those things are. So their life is enshrined here. But there's an elephant in the room which I haven't mentioned so far, <laughs> which is... Oddly, there's a corpse here. As if we hadn't got the message from the inscriptions, from the skull, from the guttering candle. There is a corpse here too. It is such an extraordinarily dour view of life. But possibly for a reasonably well-to-do merchant in the 16th century, the ever-presence of death within life was something not to be afraid of. There would have been, seemed to be nothing macabre about this. It was merely to remind them of where they would end, that all happiness ends in death. It's a curious way to celebrate a marriage, but profound in its way and deeply felt. I don't think they were much of a laugh, though. <laughs>